Did this legendary singer's most famous song get him murdered? Two weeks before Christmas in 1964, the King of Soul died in a roach motel. This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. White experts say he was shot dead, but something still doesn't add up. How did we lose such a gift to music and blackness that December night? Sam Cooke was found dead 60 years ago in a cheap Los Angeles motel. Allegedly, he kidnapped and attempted to sexually assault a sex worker. The motel manager said she saw the woman escape. Apparently scared for her own life, the manager shot Cook in the chest. But there are huge inconsistencies in this already problematic story. Cook didn't have a history of violence. Not a single motel guest heard gunshots. And the bullets recovered from his body didn't match the gun the hotel manager apparently shot him with. Even worse, his face was severely disfigured at his funeral. So what could have really happened to one of the greatest singers in history? Cook's actions had been alienating his white fans. He'd been arrested for registering in a whites-only hotel, and he was becoming increasingly outspoken for black equality and civil rights. But that's not the only coincidence. He wrote, a change is gonna come after his arrest, and it became a rallying cry for the civil rights movement. Two angry white people, his death was the opportunity to make an example of black people who dare to speak out. To our people, it meant something else. Sam Cooke's life ended mysteriously, but our fight for liberation is not over. We refuse to allow his death to be in vain. Instead, we use his anthem to uplift ourselves and intensify our fight for justice. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. Show your support by sharing this episode on your social media and join us in amplifying Black history stories we all deserve to know.